We're starting the serious work, uh, going to talk about the most important, and for us most important, is what can we do for our health. So today we will start talking about how to clean our body. Cleaning is not easy, and it's not just cleaning, but doing it properly so that our health gets uh, additional benefits from that. And we are going to talk, we are saying that our feelings uh, and senses we normally uh, link to the changes of environment like uh, fall and spring when the nature changes, the climate and weather changes, and these are the transitional uh, moments, and it makes sense to start cleaning our, our, our body. So somebody cleans the, the intestines, somebody cleans uh, uh, liver or kidneys, but the important thing is what is our task, what we are fighting with. So what is uh, that we want to get rid of it? So what is this that we want to get rid of it? We are going to talk about that today. Some specialists say that our body is so strong and so perfect, that self-regulating, that uh, it does not need any interference. We just need to know what should be done properly. Nobody doubts that, but we're saying that the rhythm is different, our conditions have changed, that we have different uh, load with sun radiation and uh, the chemicals, etc. So the body sometimes cannot cope with additional load and we need to help it. So we will more move less, we uh, don't the toxins are not take uh, uh, out from the body so intensely? So to avoid additional difficulties, we have to help our body. So why do we have this complex cleaning in the fall or in the spring? Mm. Because that is the time when the, the content of vitamins and minerals in the body has changed. And on the other hand, some. Um, during this period, so we have accumulated some harmful elements. So we need to additionally help the body to clean. So, so the proper word to say uh, is toxins. So we want to get rid of toxins, toxins which and allergens that lead to allergy. And we are going to get rid. Uh, we we are not going to re uh, get rid from the allergens, but we want to get rid of toxins because that helps our body. That might not be true for everybody, maybe they say, but we say no, it cannot be true for anybody because the toxins, they get into our body from the outside with food, with air, so, so the various chemicals chemical elements, and some of them are dangerous or extremely dangerous, like nitrates, heavy metals. In any case, they get into our body. Uh, that can be um, poisons or some drugs, any drug uh, changes the microflora of the gut. So, we also have some problems inside our body. And so the biggest problem for us, as usual, is toxins. Bacteria, but inside we have like bacteria and other things that might lead to, to slight problems. So this yeah, starts to accumulate the gradual situation, the situation becomes worse. So we need to help the body. So on the one hand, uh, it is a natural process, process because body constantly cleans itself. And it's very important in our task it is to help the body to clean itself, to make it free from toxins and bring it back to the um, necessary condition. So the body cleans itself every day and every minute, but we help the uh, organs which are involved in that process. And we're not the first to think about it. For hundreds of years, 
the uh, some elements were used to clean to help the body to clean. Avicenna, I used to say that to clean the body from toxin, we need sorbents that would absorb those toxins. Nostradamus was a very good doctor, by the way, and he used to say, let's help our body by means of uh, sorbents, like if we take in the sorbent, the sorbent will absorb the toxins and take them out. So why do we need uh, full cleaning periodically? Because we, when we, do we take out the toxins, we improve the conditions of the body and if we don't have any toxins we don't need the body will not need uh, additional power to to clean itself and that power will be used from something else and just to get to the right rhythm of life we have to conduct the proper cleaning and we know that uh, in our body we have organs which deals with that. So uh, we normally get toxins with food, so uh, we know that uh, it starts from stomach, digest, digest and starts from stomach, then the liver uh, gets connected in other organs, and that helps the body to get rid of the uh, toxins. In addition, we sweat, the sweat also takes out some toxins, and there are also uh, both uh, organs that fight with toxins, and the body all the time constantly fights with uh, the poisons. And we have to understand which uh, body parts we should help to get rid of toxins, and these are stomach, liver, kidneys, etc. So we have to help those uh, uh, organs. Sometimes uh, the body is exhausted, and in that case, the body cannot clean itself. It means that the toxins have accumulated, and we are facing now the problems of the, uh, the problems with our body. So our task is to... Uh, not to allow the toxins to accumulate, and that will not lead to any diseases, and there will be no problem uh, for the body to clean itself. If, if the cells are clean and healthy, everything will be good, and we will not need any additional cleaning. Uh, so, so uh, sometimes we don't have the strength, we have this chronic uh, tiredness or fatigue. Uh, so something, we can feel that something is wrong. So where to start cleaning? The number one uh, point number one is that we have to clean our body uh, to uh, be in perfect shape. First of all, we have to start with food. We have to take only proper food and we should eat a little bit better than normal. For health, we eat normal food and we add some uh, additional nutrients. And we have to keep in mind that along our digestive system, there are 80% of our immune system. So if we improve the food, then we do it for health, for digestive system, and for immune system, and for cleaning the body. And uh, the most uh, important moment and when we start detoxing. Uh, and for that, we need microelements, proteins, uh, but we uh, have to be very careful not to overload our, our digestive system. So uh, diet means that we reduce some of those nutri uh, nutrients, but during the detox, we should not be doing any diet. We, we don't, and in, in, and in no case, we reduce intake of uh, proteins. Also, the um, nutrients can help us uh, to get rid of any residues of food in our body. So 
uh, to ev evacuate all those products from our body. Uh, what helps us with that? It's uh, uh, just uh, dairy products like yogurt, it can be juices, uh, also grains. Like coarse, uh, coarse grain, also uh, nuts, avocado, uh, animal fat, and the issue with sugar. Sugar must be replaced by honey because can we don't need the uh, chemically clean sugar because it will uh, support the microflora if it is a little bit. Uh, changed and that honey will not do that and it will help to get rid of uh, the, the residues of food. Also tea, coffee, uh, grenade, they, they also slow down evacuation of food from the body. Water, what should be enough? We know that water is very important and it, it makes 60% of our health we drink at least one and a half liters of water uh, during the day. So, uh, and we might be adding some three, five, or eight hundred milliliters plus physical uh, uh, exercises. So everything should be working properly. So we add uh, exercise, physical exercise. We improve the physical condition of the muscles, of the uh, digestive system. Uh, so that improves the uh, heart functioning, kidney functioning. You look at the diagram we here, you see uh, in red people with... Uh, uh, cardiovascular problems who do not uh, uh, make any ex physical exercises. But on the other hand, we have people who uh, make physical exercises and are, they are not having these problems because they are very carefully doing it. And there are also issues that we don't even um, discuss, uh, the, the issues like smoking, alcohol, etc. So if we are cleaning the body, we do not impede that process with harmful habits. And we also additionally support our food. We take intake more vitamins, more proper, correct, active additives, and we try to support our immune system. We avoid stresses. And of course, the detox program, they have their own order. Uh, it's uh, the guts, liver, kidneys, and the breathing system or mm, respiratory system. So these are different body parts which need, to, which require a different approach. This is the first stage. So we start from uh, folic acids, and uh, let's uh, recall that this is the lacking part of our food. That's what the new uh, the new researches show, and that's what we like. They uh, are in the soil, and some seventy years ago we had more forests, and the ecology was. Uh, in a much better uh, condition. They are uh, reprocessed by microorganisms and so a lot of products uh, contain that. But so this is certain very rich soil, soil, a uh, compost soil, uh, which is a fertilizer for various animal people, animals, people, and just for soil. So if a million years ago uh, there were some plants and there is this genetic information that has reached our immune system, but we will, okay, we will talk about that in more detail because they are very, very important. So uh, the, the plants, they absorb them, uh, but when we eat plants, when we eat uh, 
animal fats. We uh, intake those uh, no acid, poly folic acids, and uh, so we also uh, take probiotics, intake probiotics, probiotics. So this is how we work with the fat. So what we get, uh, so uh, first of all, the fulvic uh, um, acids, they support for transmission of signals in our body. So they, uh, we need uh, also natural electrolytes, which are fulvic acids, uh, just to uh, recover, restore the uh, cell membrane. It's avoiding, uh, um, avoiding inflammation, improvement of cardiovascular uh, system, uh, functioning, so we just control uh, all of this. So if there is lack of fulvic acids, then we have start having problems. Antioxidants. This is an important thing. We know that we have free radicals, which on the outer orbit, like one electron, and it should be added there because otherwise this combination of the Free radical is potentially dangerous for us and for our cells. And that is why we need uh, uh, antioxidants that add that free radical. And with that added electron, then the free radical is not dangerous anymore. And so for the molecule of fulvic acid, uh, it uh, uh, contains uh, uh, a huge amount of electrons that can be added to that gap. Uh, so also the pelvic acid molecule is very small. It gets into the cell. Uh, it uh, generates energy. And the most important thing here is that we have already pumped down the free radicals. We stabilized the working of mitochondria. We uh, restarted our generator. And now we have the level of energy that we need. Uh, the pelvic acids, they are also very good transport uh, means they grab the elements that we need and take them and uh, take them into the cells wherever necessary. And so and whatever is not needed in our cell, then they grab it and take them out. So they are uh, the very good transport means, and at the same time, they are very good cleaning uh, means. So they take out uh, heavy metals uh, like arsenic, for example. It's very difficult to take it out of a cell. And so uh, the, the, the molecule of fulvic uh, acid does it very well. So what do we have uh, uh, at the at the end? So we uh, support the immunity. Uh, we protect ourselves from bacteria, from viruses, uh, and we have very good uh, um, resistance to them. And on the account of, uh, you know, working from the different sides, we, we improve the electrolytes uh, uh, composition, etc. Uh, we uh, improve the condition of our body and we improve our mood. Also, uh, the digestive system, which is fat the, uh, fat the cells, we improve the microflora, which is very important. And we calm down the immune system cells uh, that are uh, along our gut. So we uh, improve uh, the condition of people who has, for example, diabetes or, the, or it just starts. So why are we saying that they are not just good detox detoxicants? They are universal detoxicants because all kinds of toxic elements, they are attracted, they are grabbed there, and they are taken out of the body. So we have to keep in mind that with the help of uh, fulvic acid, we can filter water, for example, or clean the soil. 
and that's how we clean our body just the same way and then we generate the proper amount of energy and uh, we improve the level of cholesterol uh and so just that we you know, want to remind i want to remind that pelvic acid is a very very good help for for um for our body for example there are some drugs that uh, affect our immune system or uh the content of blood etc in that case we will need a consultant uh, con uh consultation of a specialist and of course uh with a different level of activity and the different level of, of uh, uh, cleaning we need different doses uh and uh, for that we have recommendations of our specialists. We have very high concentration of pelvic acid, and uh, this is a unique product because we know it's a concentrate um, uh, of uh, uh, of uh, lenardite. So we have very good uh, concentration. Plus, we are saying that what whatever we think that we are living the uh, best environment we have to keep in mind that there are aggressive uh, uh, technologies like um, uh, pesticides and uh, uh, other things so we have to keep in mind that pelvic acid is always very helpful our product has some spec uh, specifications uh, related to the quality of production and its effect so it's a uh, supportive immune system, detox, and uh, energy generation. And we keep in mind that just to get benefits from our product, we uh, dissolve 10, 15 drops in 200 milliliters of water of uh, or room temperature. Um, and of course, this should be clean water without chlorine. And um, so we have special recommendations for that. Uh, so we, when we talk about detoxification uh, and uh, quick recovery, that is why we need 200 milliliters of water for water for 15, 20 drops. We also have another application to improve the quality of detox. It's our polyprenols. These are complicated spirits. This is a very uh, interesting finding of the first half of the 20th century when the coniferous trees were studied uh, and uh, because uh, those trees they survive in extreme temperatures like plus 40 in summer minus 40 in winter uh, they do that because they have the special polyprenols uh, they all also uh, the uh, Animals also have the steroids, hemoglobin, uh, the ferments, uh, proteins, etc. So we are saying that they are just normal elements of plants and live organisms. But these very elements, they have uh, the, uh, this the, the ability to help damaged cells to recover, just to uh, renovate, so to say, the cells that they have been uh, damaged or strengthen the healthy cells. Uh, the, uh, another very important uh, function of polyprenols is uh, this construction, transport, and energy. So we know that uh, polyprenols work very well with the talk, so just pay attention. They are used for different elements that we encounter, uh, like drugs or other uh, things that we use in our lives. And most importantly, the plant polyprenol, uh, like... Uh, coniferous trees they they get into the body they cannot work independently but they get into our liver they turn into dolicles and then dolicles keep on working because dolicles are uh the create the basis for proper working of cell membrane it's very important um they uh, catch the signals that need to be caught. This is uh, uh, stability of membrane, and it's also a uh, number of components like immunoglobulins, for example, that help uh, to conduct uh, um, signals through our. So, dolicols, they uh, help uh, uh, a simple uh, glycoproteins to 
join uh, a cell. Okay, polypropanols, they turn into dolicols, then uh, the um, uh, uh, glycoproteins uh, uh, pop up. So, and we have the signal molecule, uh, the nerve structure recovered, the receptors recover, and we avoid serious problems with, for example, muscles, muscles of heart, the spine, a liver, etc. So what we get uh, uh, if we add, uh, if we intake additional plant polypenols, so first of all, we support our liver, uh, it starts working uh, properly, then antioxidant uh, protection uh, from uh, uh, free radicals, it's improvement of blood quality, support, a uh, very soft support for immune system and support for uh, the brain tissue and protection, neuroprotection of uh, uh, brain function uh, and improvement of brain function like remembering, proper reaction, etc. So it's very simple. We add a concentrate and we get this function. Recovery, pro, uh, protection from uh, exhausting, uh, and we have this complex approach and very good profile of safety, uh, again, if we choose the proper element that we need. Uh, so we use uh, the Siberian uh, and so we you use uh, we have the concentrate with polyprenols, which we use for people of different age. Uh, so this product has uh, uh, gone through all the stages of cleaning. And uh, uh, that's why we also add uh, some cell uh, fluid uh, of uh, the coniferous. We add uh, a little bit of uh, uh, various elements. And now our concentrate um, works when we dissolve it uh, in uh, water. Again, we uh, get 15, 20 drops. So we dissolve in 150 or 200 um, dr uh, milliliters of water. Uh, so... Uh, so our uh, natural concentrate with polyprenols, they are used uh, for protection of our body from possible damage or um, caused by toxins. And for that, we offer the program of our Death of Summer Marathon. This is a broad program. This is a systemic approach. And we offer you to just... Uh, um, get into our vision um, and uh, to uh, show you some peculiarities of your food, of your lifestyle, uh, etc. So this is a very, very clear program which should be just taken and fulfilled. And uh, today we already had first product that we uh, started talking about. So we have Prinovital, the Falvik. Uh, uh, acid. There are other products that we will talk about in our next meetings, but keep in mind that you have to take more water than normal, but water should be clean with no chlorine. Of course, uh, uh, we uh, learn from wise people, like Aristotle uh, said that a, a clever uh, chase is not what is pleasant, but uh, something that um, uh, helps us to get rid of uh, problems. So when something is uh, healthy and pleasant at the same time, then it's twice as good. So, and most importantly, just keep in mind that new knowledge is new opportunities, new opportunities for our health and new improvements that follow that. So that is why health, 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 good mood and get prepared uh, for that who works better gets gets better results. So that's it.